Meet Bird Camera from Florida. Bird has the best job in the world. He designs and flies miniature helicopters for radio-controlled model companies. When this video of Bird doing his astonishing stunts in Switzerland landed, it scored over 300,000 hits. The skill involved in this is truly unbelievable. My favorite move is when the helicopter comes crashing down really quickly, very close to the ground, and then he pushes it backwards and he saves it from his deep dive. We tracked down Bert and asked him to explain how he does it. For somebody to learn to fly the way I do, it would take anywhere between three to 10 years. My favorite moves are the pyro flip, which is basically a pirouetting while the helicopter is flipping, it happens all at the same time. Another favorite maneuver is the TikTok. And another favorite maneuver is what we call the funnel, which is basically a tail down inverted circle. But could a full size helicopter perform these intricate moves? The G forces that would be experienced by a real pilot would be way too strong to be sustainable. Secondly, we have the power to weight ratio, which means that for a small helicopter, the engine is much more powerful, and that allows him to flip upside down and fly that way. How is Bert pulling off his amazing maneuvers? So the first control that Bert is using is the main rotor blade. Firstly, it provides lift. The next thing it does is it can actually be tilted forwards and backwards. And by tilting it, you can make the helicopter go forwards or tilt it in the opposite direction. You can push the air out and it'll go backwards. Now, the other thing is, is something called a swash plate. This allows the helicopter to tilt in all directions, which means he can do that sideways tilt and go nose up and nose down and do all those crazy motions. If I want the machine to move forward, I push forward here. If I want it to go right, I push right, left. And if I want to go back, I push back. So flying backwards is as simple as pushing back on this stick right here, and the machine will fly backwards. So the main rotor gives the helicopter lift and moves it backward and forward. But what does the tail rotor do? Without the tail, the helicopter body would just spin around. And so this rotor blade at the back keeps it nice and level. You can also change the pitch on the tail blades by moving the stick right to left. And by changing the pitch on the tail blades, you create lift sideways, allowing the helicopter to move to one side or the other. 